Hello, welcome to Eclipse. So uh, today we're going to be taking out one of these. This is the ZSXF, along with the sister bike, the ZSXFR. They also do the ZSXR 125 by Lakes Moto. And a lovely little bike, this one. I'm just going to turn this over. So as you can tell, nice little purr from that engine. It's got a very, very low purr. Now obviously this is a customer bike. So I'm just going to take this one out for a spin. So uh, just to know, uh, do a quick blog on this one because we haven't ridden this one yet. So I'm going to take it out, give it a, a full road test. And uh, you can just get to uh, hear the bike in all its glory. So as you can tell from that engine, it's got a sweet little purr to it. Very, very responsive bike this one as well. So we are riding this in for a customer, so we're uh, going to take this nice and easy on this one. And obviously we have to stay under 40 mile an hour. Just for the running in procedure. This has had a few road tests, hence why it's a little bit grubby. Normally we'd clean every bike up after it's had its road test. As you can tell, from the speed bumps, it handles it very, very well. Very soft suspension on this, a lovely firm seat, and it tucks the knees right under the tank, as you can see. So it's a very, very nice seating position, very, very upright. So if you're one of these that likes to be sat upright on a bike rather than leant over it with a bad back and bad wrists in a sports bike position, this one is a very very nice riding style and obviously on fresh rubber with this one but just look at the way it handles itself through the corner very nice placement and a very talky bike once you pile that power on it's a very very talky bike Nice easy placement of all those controls as well. We'll just sit back to allow this lorry to turn in. A lovely, lovely low speed idle on this. So as you can see, nice big rev counter. And I do love the idea of the digital around the outside. So as you rev the bike, you're getting them red bars popping up onto the screen. So very very nice and once again out into traffic everyone says on my Lex Motos blogs well oh, doesn't go up to 30 very well it gets up to 30 very very quick yeah but what's the top speed um, they state on the Lex Moto age this will do a good 60 65 once the bike has been running obviously we're not going to be taking it up that high as it is a new bike and it is a customer's bike but just feeding it through that roundabout look just look how it hugs that corner very very low seated and I do love that little purr loud exhaust very very loud exhaust you'll find out when I start rev matching changing down through the gearbox now five speed box on this one one down and four up this is only done 126 miles so not due for its first service yet hence why we're keeping the speeds nice and steady on this one it is easy very very easy with this because obviously it runs away with itself and you do find yourself creeping up into the 41s, 42s so we've obviously just got to keep it below 40 for that running in procedure but I said it, this is a gorgeous little bike and everyone says, what about pros and cons? well, the pros, it's a 125 it's a Lex Moto if you want a nice easy budget bike this is the one to go for feeds itself through those roundabouts 
very well planted, excellent riding position, hands are nice and evenly spaced apart, so you're not cramped, a very very comfortable bike to ride. Cons, if you're a big right rider, it's only going to do 60-65, obviously once you've had your servicing done you can push it a little bit harder, but if you're after an urban commuter, you don't want a twist and go scooter, this is the bike to go for. And obviously with the other range of Lexmoto bikes, you can't get much better if you want to spend the money to go for a new LXR. The LXRs are the big thing at the moment, everybody is talking about them and uh, I believe their next shipment is due the end of May, so we're looking about just over a month and a half out before the next shipment is in because they've completely sold out of LXRs. But they've got plenty of these in stock. Personally my choice is the red one. They do come in other colours, but the red one is the bike of choice. And it, from the outside and it does look very, very nice. Just look at the way it comes back round that roundabout and just feeds in. Obviously what I'm going to do is a quick ride round town on this one. Just check the vehicle out. And then I'm going to uh, take it down a dual carriageway. Just see how it copes dominating the lane and with other traffic. Braking response, here we go. It's rev matching and torque of that engine pulling down. Nice big handful of front brake. That stops on a sixpence discs on this on the front are very very good and also is that back brake as well now personally if you happen to like the dual braking you've got front and back brake at the same time all good personally I prefer to have my back brake under my left right foot and the front brake under my right hand so it's uh, horses for courses with this some people like the dual braking, some people don't. I'm an old-fashioned rider, and I prefer to be able to be in control of my rear end. And don't you just love the way that people just cut you up at roundabouts? No cuss words from me, because most car drivers are idiots. Especially Vauxhall drivers. But, personal choice again. If you happen to be a Vauxhall driver and you're a good driver, my apologies. He's obviously a, a company car driver that's only passed his test a few years ago. Anyway, back to the bike. Just hear that little blip as you just rev match down through the power band. I'm going to take it up to the dual carriageway here. You can't look at lifesavers feed it through, just look at the response, look, flick it through that roundabout. And nice loud exhaust. It's a very, very similar exhaust tone to the LXR. Now the LXR seems to have a, a lot more grunt to it. This one has that tone, but the LXR is the tone to die for. handful of front brake off and just feed it through like this there we go obviously on new rubber got to be a little bit careful but there we go if I stay in the lane that is very very controllable just flicking it around very very easy to manoeuvre this bike and we're going to hook this down the uh, dual carriageway in Milton Keynes There we go, even at low speed it manoeuvres into them corners very, very well. There we go. And I keep forgetting it's a five speed box on this, I'm so used to having six and seven under my foot. So it's running away with me again, I'm up to 44, so I've just got to back it off a little bit. It's 
very, very easy to these just to climb up without you noticing. And they do hold their speed very, very well. I'm just checking my mirror. It is dominating the lane very well for a big for a little bike. Now obviously if you happen to follow the uh, the blogs that Dan does on the main Lexmoto page, he has taken this out. Just have a have a look at some of uh, the Lexmoto feeds and the Lexmoto blogs. They tend to share a lot of what we do as well. But uh, if you want advice, then chat to the guys at Lexmoto. Dan is very, very knowledgeable when it comes to the moto blogs and actually doing uh, the technical stuff on these bikes. I prefer just to ride and let you hear all about the bike. Once again, I'm going to come in quite hard and apply these brakes and just show you how that front end just dips down look at that instant response that is a big old disc on the front and that brakes really really hard so there we go quick look at that uh, counter on that and look at the size of those mirrors and you can just hear that electronics ticking away underneath so front pull away with my visor up just hear that rev tone obviously trying to match the revs nice and low we're going to come off into this roundabout and flip across the left lane that's a lovely little rev bomb to that Not Mr. Beat yet, so a lovely little engine on this one. There we go. As you can tell, text message incoming. I am riding with the uh, new LS2 helmet. We used to ride with a uh, Kraft Barracuda, full carbon Barracuda, and uh, I decided to go for a uh, hybrid. So this one's got the flip up. This is the LS2, and I went for it in pure chrome with an iridium screen, and went for the LS2 kit that uh, comes with it, full Bluetooth kit. So the Bluetooth's built into the chin strap, and a full mic on this as well. And it's also hooked into my uh, cam. I'm running the uh, Ghost X drift cam. Well, you can't go far wrong. Everyone says, oh, GoPros are the thing to do. Personally, drift. The drift cams are very, very good. Especially the Ghost X. Full HD. 1080p camera and it's got the fisheye lens on this one you can go for a straight lens I prefer the fisheye you've got a lot more visibility that's another thing that we do now with all bikes we offer the optional cameras as well so we do a very very good brand of road camera normally fits to the mirrors or you can have it sucker mounted to the inside of the bike personally I prefer it up high so that other users can see that you've got a camera I'm just popping back to the garage now I'm just going to turn in cut the corner slightly there but turn back down the road and we're going to pull it into motorcycles and we'll give you a quick look around that bike again so we're just going to pull it up here I'm going to pop it back up onto the stand 
going to go get a quick look around the bike again. So there we go. Slightly dirty. That's had a few rides. But that's uh, the ZSXF. Nice big single shock, nicely coloured as well, gold and red. And just have a look at those big wavy discs on the front. Nice big calipers on that. LEDs and that daytime light as well. Full LED indicators on this. Once again, let's have a listen to that exhaust. Very, very good. So we've got plenty of these out of Eclipse. ZSXF. Give us a ring 01908 643 603.